especially in the press. Frankly, we are all sick of him using the Hilton name. Rachel, you could tell it's calling. This is not, oh my God, let me pick this up. Like, do you have ESP? Because now you are on air again. Like, do you have ESP to call me every time I'm doing a show? No, but David, we're best friends. We speak a hundred times a day. And do you want to hear something? Speaking to you. What? Do you want to hear something? I mentioned you in this show because I'm talking about, because Kyle was asked on the reunion last night about, could you ever see yourself sleeping with Morgan? And is there a future? And she was like, no. And I used you as an example. I'm like, if someone asked me if I wanted to sleep with Rachel, you could tell. I would say she's really fucking hot, but like, it will never, like, Kyle wasn't as. This conversation, I asked if we should get married, if we, should, if we stay single, and you were like, sorry, I can't sleep with you. I told you if I stay single, who I'm going to marry. Um, yes, um, Melissa. Melissa Rivers, but she's engaged, but I'm going to marry Melissa Rivers and move into her house. you for money, let's be honest. Yeah, I'm interested in marrying someone for money, that's correct. Well. Let's be honest, I am too. I mean, or I'm interested in marrying a hot young piece of ass, but that gets annoying. But what is going on with you? You are now on air for all these lovely people. And this is not planned, everybody. Well, I I mean, just to talk about what you're saying with Kyle for one second. I'm on a walk, by the way, so I'm hoping that I'm not breathing too heavy. But yeah. I will say, why can't she just admit it? Like, if she's going to go late in life lesbian, just say it. But I guess, obviously, she's struggling with that identity for her or maybe she's not and she's hold, trying to hold on to this as a storyline i really don't get it but it's kind of like yeah if you're into morgan just say it who gives a shit i think that people are getting bored with the the teasing of it what do you think i mean i don't know also well it. i said two things i said i think well, I think we are witnessing, If you, I don't know if you watched the reunion yet, I think we're sitting there witnessing the coming out of Kyle Richards. Now, she hasn't come out, but I think we are watching Kyle Richards figure out her sexuality before our very eyes. Maybe, and, you know, obviously that's something you would know about more than me. It's probably, I'm guessing, it's probably very hard to admit to friends, admit to, you know, who, whoever she needs to grasp you know, admitting it to and more so like herself, obviously. But And I don't even think she's gay. I really don't. I just think she is someone who has fallen in love. I think she is madly in love with Morgan Wade. I, I think that I really do. By the way. Pansexual. We already. Yeah. Yeah. In love with someone not based on the sex, but based on the person. And listen, I guess it can happen. So I wish I was pansexual because then I really could marry you. Yeah, I know. But I'm not. Well, I was calling you to dish on my update on my love life, but I'm not going to do it on air, so. Well, I'll call you. I mean, I'm going to be off air in like 10 minutes, then I have to go downstairs and edit everything. Not that I cut anything out, but I have to like prepare it to, to upload it. So I'm going to go work in the common area and I can call you and we can chat. Okay, call me back. All right, to this, please go listen to Misunderstood, my podcast on Apple and Spotify. Listen, you can plug your podcast. I mean, if you would like to call in every week, you can plug your podcast all you want. We love an impromptu call. Thank you. That's really sweet of you. Um, I'm preparing for my interview tomorrow with MJ to talk all about traders. Oh, that's a good one. I've had MJ yes. on before and I fucking love her. And by the way, I'm really pissed because I had Renee Graziano on and I held her interview that's coming out on Monday. But, you know, then Bethany just posted her interview with her. She says all the same shit. And she she said, interviewed she Renee Graziano. Oh, Bethany. She says Renee opens up in a way she never has before. And I'm thinking, what do you mean? She talks about all the same stuff with me. So I'm a little irritated that I didn't put it out yet. But I'm Welcome to my life. And by the way, I have Renee Graziano coming back on this podcast, but God only knows when that's going to happen. But Bethany and Renee, that that's not, I don't see that. Well, it came out already and it's like, you know, it's out there, but all wow. of that stuff, you know, I was supposed to have her on my show in September and she OD'd at a restaurant, which she talks about on Bethany's podcast, on wow. it, obviously, but like, I couldn't find her because she was supposed to come on my show like the next day. And I, she's very like attentive to her messages. She has her red receipts on. So I knew something happened when for like two days, 
she wasn't responding and I was trying to confirm our podcast. And then lo and behold, I find out she's in the hospital, basically like dead almost. Um, I was terrible. Well, I'm sorry that this wonderful woman who I really do love, um, almost died and it ruined after a podcast release date. But here's the thing. I know. It was a crazy coincidence of when I was supposed to have her on. It's terrible. felt terrible for her. Well, guess what? Your interview will be better than Bethany's. How's that? Thank you. Not that anyone would know the difference since we have the same voice, right? Uh, literally, everyone last week was like, this sounds like Bethany. I see it, but a little different. Right. <laughs> um, all right, we'll go back to your show. Sorry to interrupt everybody. I'm going to call you in like nine minutes. Okay, bye. Bye. Well, there you go. So there's that. Um, I mean, these things are just not planned at all. But thank you, Rachel. You could tell. Um, so there's Paris coming out. I love the way Paris um supports her family, right? I love the way Paris supports her family. I've had MJ on this podcast. Should we have MJ back on? You know, you always want the people back on. And then here we are. Okay, here we are. Um, I don't even know what I was going to say, to be honest with you. I mean, we were almost wrapping up anyway, but I don't know about the future. I love that they're filming right away. And, oh, I'm going to save, I'm going to save my Teresa and the Villains house for next week. You know why? Because I want to do a New Jersey show next week. I want to react to the trailer Anything could happen in seven days. So let's not, you know, go and uh, let's not go and lock that in. But everyone wants me to react to the trailer and I have a lot of thoughts to say. So thank you for being here on Patreon. Overall, what did I think of the season of Beverly Hills? I say it the same as I've always said it. If these weren't really fucking rich people, if this was like Potomac or the OC or New York any of these other cities and the same stuff was happening, I would just be like bored. But because it's Beverly Hills, because I mean, I went to Cipriani's in Beverly Hills for dinner on Monday night. I mean, it is, it's new. It, there's Cipriani's in New York. I've been to, I'm a regular. This is new. It opened this year. It's literally Beverly Hills proper. Like it's just right off Rodeo. It's right there. It's like, you're just sitting there and you're like, this is, and my friend and I, my friend is from New York and he spends the winter here too. And we're just looking and we're sitting there and I'm like, he's like, I fucking love LA. He's like, I love Beverly Hills. I'm like, girl, I get it. It's like a comical, you know what I mean? It's like, you could have been on the damn show. It's like people are walking and this one is in sweatpants with like a coffee stain and a t-shirt, and he looks like he hasn't showered in weeks and just rolled out of bed. And there's the huge blinged out, you know, watch. And you're like, this person who looks homeless is probably worth God knows how much money. And then right after that, someone is walking in. Mind you, this is 7 p.m. on a Monday. Someone walks in with like the Croc Birkin and is like literally dressed as if she's going to the Oscars. So you have this person with the, the sweatpants with a stain and just like they almost smell because they haven't showered. And then you have this person that is dressed as if they are going to the Oscars to accept an Academy Award. And then you have someone else and it's like, it's just like a hilarious fucking scene you know what I mean it just you talk about wanting to watch these shows to escape reality and you're just sitting there and you're like this is just so wonderful like yeah and then you have to pay like $30 for your fucking martini but you're like this is just uh, taking me away from actual life so my point is my point is that is why I personally it wasn't the best season but it just it truly is how the other half lives. I mean, there's people that do well for themselves and then there's money and there's people that have amassed some money and then there's just like wealth, you know? And when you get into like Sutton Strack and Kyle Richards and Kathy Hilton and Crystal Kong, those four especially, 
you know, it's just how the other half lives. And it's just, to me, I love it. And that is why this season, to me, and I think that's why it does well. That's what I love about it. But if this was the OC, if the same thing happened and the same season was happening right now with the rat, the rat that scurries, and we all thought she loved the monster, but she loves Gouda. She's in the corner scurrying for a piece of Gouda, that Tam rat. Um, I'd be bored. So there you go. Hopefully I didn't bore you here today. I love you all. Hey, an impromptu call with Rachel Yucatel. I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. I hope you're having coffee. I hope you're having wine, martinis. I hope you're doing everything. Really fun. Working out, going on a walk. I'm going to be working all day today, but I hope I'm so glad I can spend your Saturday with you. Thank you for making this a destination choice for your Saturday and being on our Patreon. I know you have choices. I appreciate it. I love you all. I'm not going anywhere. We're just getting started here, guys. Have a great Saturday. Bye.